Well, I think that I might be one of the very first job sharers in television because I reckon it was uh, 2001 that myself and Kate Brown were working at RDF. And between us, we steered the development team at the time that Stephen Lambert came to join us and we pioneered the constructed documentary at RDF. Sophie and I job shared on a production at uh, Boundless called The Secrets in My Family. We're currently PDing a Horizon film about birth control. We have done three series of The Secret Life of Four and Five Year Olds as a successful job share. I think there are so many people who um, get to a point in their lives and they're not able to dedicate all that time to making films, but they desperately want to stay making creative programmes and being really at the forefront of that creative process. Motherhood isn't the only issue. Um, and I know, I know plenty of TV fathers who would like to spend more time with their children. I also know people who are caring for elderly relatives. I mean, there are a number of challenges and a number of reasons why you get a drop-off of talent in the mid-30s. Lives get complicated. I think when you've got a family or commitments outside of your career, it's very difficult to get a balance. For me, a job share is at the moment the only option or at least to work part-time is the only option and if there are no part-time jobs, which there are very few of, then job share is the only answer. Without the ability to do job share, you have no choice but to leave the industry because you know it takes long hours to do it. You just can't do that five and six days a week. It's impossible. It's the only way to keep great talent in the industry and we've got to embrace more job shares and we've got to do it now. I've worked in television for nearly 18 years. You know, I've been off around the world giving up weddings of my best friends. Why am I going to give that up now? Job sharing, I think, benefits productions in a, in a lot of ways. And I think that the one massive thing that people don't consider is the creativity. You know, finding a creative producer is really hard. You know, someone who can, like, put something into that, uh, you know, production. And the fact that you get two amazing producers who can throw that creativity in for the price they want, I think is absolutely invaluable. It's extra people. It's like not, people aren't switching off for the rest of the week when they're not there. You're getting so much more than you would get with just one person. The best thing about a job share is the unified front that, that you present. We come as a pair, we're applying for a job, we know exactly what to do. We know how to make this work. And obviously two brains is better than one and you get through a lot of the creative problems and script writing, coming up with a kind of brainstorm of ideas a lot faster. I contacted Kate last night and I just said what was the best and worst thing about the job share and this is what I got back. It actually brought a tear to my eye. Um, she said best thing being able to share the challenges, ups and downs of the job with my other half. Um, also being able to focus on my strengths while my job share partner plugged the gaps and brought complementary talents and skills to the role. That is so true. Trust and compatibility and friendship were all important and made the job all the more re rewarding. Worst, when the partnership ended and there was no alter ego to bounce off and collaborate with. What I would say to employers who haven't done this before and they want to give it a go and they might be a bit nervous is give it a go, just hire one edit. I want do one show, do a job share because you know you won't see you won't see any difference to having one person to having two people. If they're good, they're good. It doesn't matter how many people they are. It would be nice for the channels to get explicitly on board and say, you know, please consider this as part of your diversity um, commitment. Because if it's not happening from right up there, it's however hard we push from down here it probably won't take off in the way that we think it could do and could be really beneficial to the whole industry. Maybe that is the shift that people, instead of it being a sort of, oh, let's be nice to the mummies type thing, it is something that actually is a real creative force to be reckoned with.